I am very excited to share with you an advanced version of Timing Ball which is one of our new innovations for school education. This product introduces the basic concepts of time, height, and acceleration due to gravity in a fun and interesting way and calculate the value of g accurately. It has a bright LED display and can measure the time of flight and height of a person very accurately. This advanced timing ball does not depend on a switch release to start its timer. Rather it has a built-in electronics to automatically sense its release from hand, so there is no chance of an error in recording exact time of flight due to hand reflexes. Just press the power button on for about 2 seconds and release. The display will light up showing a bar. Now release the ball from hand within 5 seconds. The electronics keeps checking when the ball is released and triggers the timer as soon as ball leaves the hand. The timer stops when ball makes an impact on an object or ground. The time of flight and height under free fall has been displayed. Let me drop the ball from a certain height h, say 50 centimeters. I am going to keep the ball right above the mark 50 centimeters or 0.5 meters at the ruler and record the time of flight t from the ball. Now putting the value of h 0.5 meters and t 0.318 seconds, we get the ideal value of g that is 9.8 meters per second square. Such a simple experimental setup to find the value of G by free fall. We can also drop the ball from different heights under free fall and collect the data of time and height and analyze the plot showing motion under acceleration on an Excel sheet. Let us drop the ball from a certain height under free fall from rest and with a slight horizontal velocity. The ball from rest follows a vertical path and the ball with horizontal velocity follows a curved path. The time of flight is essentially the same and so is its height which shows that G is in one dimension. Let us experiment with this ball by recording time of flight in both the directions and see if they are essentially same. Let me drop the ball vertically under free fall. Let us see, we get 0.389 as time of flight. 0.394 seconds when dropped with a slight horizontal velocity. Pretty close, this shows that the acceleration is in one dimension and is always towards the center of the Earth. Indusaw also has a low-cost version of the timing ball which does not auto-sense its release from hand rather the user requires to press a switch and release the switch and the ball simultaneously to measure the time of flight under free fall. Indusaw ball is robust and operates on three AAA replaceable cells and has auto power shut down in 30 seconds. So go ahead and experiment with this exciting product to conduct a number of experiments in interesting and fun ways to study motion under G by free fall accurately.